Ah, so she turned her back and walked away, huh? And you thought the world was going to crumble because things didn't go the way you wanted? Let's be honest. Your ego got hurt, and now you're wallowing like it's the end of the world. But let me tell you a truth that might sting, but it's necessary. Rejection is a part of every man's life. Whether you like it or not, you're going to face it in different forms and at various stages. And do you know what's worse? If you don't know how to handle this rejection, guess what happens? You shrink. That's right! You become your own shadow. You lose your way, become bitter, unhappy. And if you keep it up, you'll end up sinking for good. But look, it doesn't have to be that way. Rejection, when faced correctly, doesn't bring you down. On the contrary, it lifts you up, and it lifts you up a lot. It has the power to turn you into a more fulfilled, more self-confident, and above all, successful man. But only if you know how to deal with it. Now pay attention, because I'm going to talk about the types of rejections men face the most, and the principles to come out of these situations with your head held high. If you have the courage to face reality and learn what I'm about to show you, this video will change your life. But if you keep playing the victim, there's no video in the world that can help you. So, watch this closely and be ready to change the way you think and act. Number one, it's not always personal. You think you're the center of the universe, right? You think every time a woman doesn't reply or ignores you, it's a direct attack on your existence. Let's get off this pedestal because the reality is quite different. Let's talk about those moments when you try to start a conversation on a dating app or Instagram and suddenly the woman just ignores your message. Maybe she replied once, but then she disappeared. And there you were, staring at the screen, wondering what you did wrong. Let me tell you something you might not want to hear. Not everything revolves around you. Yes, it's true she might not have been interested in you, but that's just one of many possibilities. And thinking that's the only reason is, at the very least, naive and, at most, a bit narcissistic. Think about it. These online conversations are so superficial that it's absurd to put so much weight on them. Do you know how many messages she gets a day? Maybe dozens, maybe hundreds. And honestly, she might just not have had the time or enough interest to continue that conversation. And do you know what else? She might already be getting to know someone else, or maybe she's already in a relationship. And there you are, tearing yourself up inside as if it's a personal offense. What a waste of energy. Now let's talk about face-to-face -face rejection, which hurts even more, right? You muster up the courage, approach a woman on the street, and she doesn't respond the way you expected. Maybe she ignores you or gives a quick excuse to get out of the situation. And then you think, what did I do wrong? Dude, the issue here isn't you. There's so much going on in her life that you simply don't know. Maybe she's in a serious relationship or she's just not interested in meeting someone at that moment. Maybe she's in a hurry, rushing, or just got some bad news. Or who knows, maybe she's shy, and the idea of talking to a stranger makes her uncomfortable. The point is, you have no control over her life, and you can't assume that rejection is a direct evaluation of your worth. It just doesn't make sense to let this bring you down. And there's another thing. Who said it's even real rejection? Sometimes the situation just wasn't right, and you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. So stop brooding over it. You need to learn to separate your self-esteem from others' reactions. If someone rejects you, that doesn't diminish your worth. In fact, how you react to rejection is what defines who you are. If you shrink and let it affect you, you lose yourself in the process. But if you understand that it's not always personal and that there's nothing wrong with you, you become stronger, more confident, and in the end, much more attractive. So here's the lesson. Stop taking everything personally. Rejection isn't the end of the world and it certainly isn't a direct reflection of your worth. When you learn to deal with this without crumbling, then you're on a path of personal growth and self-confidence. And let's be honest, isn't that what you want? To be a man who knows his worth and doesn't get shaken by the small stuff. So, it's time to put that inflated ego aside and face reality. 
grow up, mature, and move on. Number two, use rejection to your advantage. Now let's talk about the rejections that really get to you, the ones that hit deep in the soul and leave scars. These are the rejections that make you question your worth, that make you doubt yourself. If you haven't gone through this yet, brace yourself because sooner or later, you're going to feel this pain. And believe me, it's going to hurt. But the issue isn't just feeling the pain, it's what you do with it. Imagine this situation. You start talking to a girl, everything seems to be going well, there's chemistry, the conversations flow, and you start building expectations. She seems interested, you feel attracted, and you begin to imagine a future together. And then, out of nowhere, she cools off. She sidelines you, without any explanation, and you find out she's with another guy. That hurts, right? It gives you that punch in the gut that knocks the wind out of you. And it doesn't matter how strong you think you are, this situation will knock you down. But let me tell you something. Every man who's ever been truly rejected has gone through this kind of situation. And many of them got lost, gave in to the pain, sunk into sadness and self-pity. Some even humiliated themselves, desperately trying to win back someone who had already decided to move on. It's sad, but it's true. And if you think begging for someone's love will restore your dignity, you're completely wrong. In fact, it will only make you lose yourself even more. The worst thing you can do is let this rejection define who you are. But here's the secret that many don't understand. Rejection is a disguised opportunity. Yes, you read that right. Rejection can be the trigger you needed to change your life for the better. When someone rejects you, you have two options. Sink into self-pity and let it destroy you. Or use that rejection as fuel to grow, to evolve, to become an even better version of yourself. Think about it. It was going through rejections that I learned to get back up, to rebuild myself. I was forced to face my flaws, to work on my self-confidence, to improve in areas of my life that I had neglected. I used that pain as motivation to grow financially, to become more attractive, more self-assured. And you know what? You can do the same. Rejection can be the fire that forges steel. It can be the push you needed to stop accepting mediocrity and start seeking the best for yourself. It's in the toughest situations that you discover who you really are. If you let this pain paralyze you, you're wasting a golden opportunity. But if you use this pain as motivation, it can become the force that drives you forward, that pushes you to reach your goals, to become the man you've always wanted to be. So, the next time you face rejection, don't see it as the end of the world. See it as a chance to start over, to evolve, to prove to yourself that you're stronger than any obstacle. Rejection can be the best gift you've ever received if you know how to use it. So get up, dust yourself off, and move forward. Use rejection to your advantage and show the world and yourself what you're capable of. If you want to learn how to use psychological tricks to get into that woman's mind and make her act the way you expect, seeking you out and thinking only of you, read the ebook in the description of this video. After this read, you'll learn how to use your cold side to deeply affect this woman and master the art of seduction. Stop being a doormat and start being the man she truly values. Number 3. Learn from rejection. Look, no one likes to admit they were wrong, but let's face reality. Sometimes, the problem lies in how you acted. It's happened to me. And maybe it's happened to you too. A woman who seemed interested before starts to pull away, to lose interest. And then comes that regret, that feeling that you could have done things differently. It's disturbing, isn't it? I know it well. Let me tell you a story. There was a girl I was interested in. She showed interest in me too, but you know how it goes. I didn't give her the attention she deserved. Maybe out of arrogance, maybe out of carelessness. It doesn't matter. The fact is, I didn't act in the best way, and she just moved on. When I realized what I had lost, regret hit me like a punch in the stomach. And this can happen to anyone, whether in a new relationship or one that's already ongoing. When you realize things went south because of your behavior, it's easy to fall into the trap of regret and self-pity. But here's some advice you need to hear, even if it hurts. 
Regret won't change what already happened. Torturing yourself mentally, reliving every mistake, will only sink you further. What you need to do is take lessons from this experience. If you messed up, admit it. Admitting the mistake is the first step to improving, but it's not enough just to admit it. You have to be willing to act differently next time. It's not enough just to lament what happened, you need to grow from it. Now, if she decided to move on, if she doesn't want to know anything more about you, here's the golden rule. Don't insist, don't chase her, and never, I repeat, never humiliate yourself. No desperate messages or trying to win her back in every possible way. That will only make the situation worse and make you lose even more respect, both from her and from yourself. Instead, use this rejection as a mirror to look at yourself and identify what needs to be improved. Maybe you were careless, maybe you acted arrogantly, or maybe you just didn't give her the attention she needed. Whatever the mistake, learn from it. Rejection is one of the best teachers if you're willing to learn. It shows you where you can improve, where you need to grow, and it prepares you for future interactions. And you know something? When you manage to turn regret into learning, you become a better version of yourself. You start to act differently, to better understand others' needs and feelings, and that makes you more attractive, more confident, and more prepared to build healthy relationships. So, the next time you feel the weight of regret, don't let it consume you. Instead of sinking into guilt, lift your head and take lessons from what happened. Learn from rejection, use that experience to grow, and move forward with more wisdom and maturity. Life is made up of mistakes and successes, and that's how you evolve. Don't be afraid to admit you were wrong, but never, ever let that define who you are. Learn, improve, and be ready to do things differently next time. Number four, don't make rejection a big deal. Look, I'll be straight with you. Stopping acting like the world ended because a woman doesn't want you anymore is essential, especially when you barely knew the person. It's natural that, after being rejected, you keep replaying everything that happened in your head, thinking about what you could have done differently, feeding expectations about what could have been. But let me give you an important tip. You're fooling yourself. Do you know why? Because you barely knew this woman. And if you had had the chance to know her deeply, you might very well discover that she has flaws that would make you run in the opposite direction. But in your head, after the rejection, she becomes the perfect woman. That's where the trap lies. This is a dirty trick your mind is playing on you, caused by the simple feeling of loss. Think about it. While she was interested in you while you had her validation, you weren't that into her. Maybe you even ignored some messages or didn't give her the attention she wanted. But now, suddenly, because she's no longer validating you, she seems like the best thing that ever happened to you. Once again, it's your mind tricking you. Don't fall into this illusion. If you get stuck in this cycle of regret and expectation, you'll only end up sinking further. And do you know the worst part? While you're there, brooding over the past, she's already moved on, living her life without a second thought. So stop wasting your time on this. What happened, happened. You can't change what happened, but you can learn from it. And here's a valuable tip. Even if you decide to move on, you might still catch yourself thinking about her from time to time. And that's normal. Being strong doesn't mean feeling nothing. It means feeling, but not letting it bring you down. It's about enduring the pain, learning from it, and continuing your life with your head held high. What you shouldn't do, by any means, is humiliate yourself. Don't chase after her. Don't keep sending messages. Don't do anything foolish. Every time you do that, you're just reinforcing the idea that you're worth nothing without her approval. And that's not true. Rejection can indeed be used as fuel to push you forward. In time, the pain will lessen, and you'll realize that, in the end, it was a blessing in disguise. So, here's what you need to do. Accept what happened, learn from it, and move on. With time, you'll be healed, feeling good again, and ready for new experiences. 
And who knows, next time, not only will you be more prepared, but you also won't let yourself be shaken by these small rejections that are part of life. That's how you grow. Don't make rejection a big deal. Turn it into an opportunity to become the best version of yourself. Rejection is inevitable in every man's life, but what defines who you are isn't the rejection itself, but how you choose to react to it. If you allow yourself to be crushed, it will destroy you. But if you face it head on, learn from it, and use it as fuel to become stronger, nothing and no one will be able to stop you. Don't let rejection define your worth. Use it to grow, evolve, and become the most powerful version of yourself. Rejection can be the turning point that leads you to success, but only if you have the courage to face the pain, learn from it, and move forward. So, the next time you face rejection, remember, it's not the end of the world, it's the beginning of a new journey. It's up to you to decide whether you'll stay stuck or use this opportunity to grow. If this video impacted you in any way, share it with someone who needs to hear this message. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment on what you thought. Remember, rejection is just a chapter in your story, and you have the power to write the ending. See you in the next video.